In this video, we will learn about subtotal function in Excel. You might think it to be somewhat like sum of selected values. But the subtotal function is capable of much more. Apart from its ability to return a sum, it can also give us average, count, max and several other results. But today, we will specifically focus on sum and understand this function with few examples in this video. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. The subtotal function itself has 11 functions within it. This function always ignores values removed by auto filter. What we see here is that there are two sets of the same function numbers available. But one set includes hidden cell values while the other set excludes hidden cell values. We will learn more about this in a while. Let us start with some within subtotal function. So our function goes like equal to subtotal open parenthesis 9 which stands for sum comma our amount range which is b2 till b15 we'll just freeze this range so when we copy this cell our range doesn't get disturbed close parenthesis and we got sum of our amounts now the question is how subtotal sum function is different from regular sum function. To understand this, let us get sum of the same range with regular sum function here. Equal to sum open parenthesis b2 till b15 close parenthesis and our result is same with both the functions. Now let us apply filter on our amount range and get only the rows which has amount greater than 6000. As we can see that the sum we got with the subtotal function changed when we filtered our range. And now this function is giving sum of the remaining cells in the range. Whereas the regular sum function has not changed. There is no effect on this function whether the range is filtered or not. So this is the basic difference between the regular and subtotal sum function. In the subtotal function itself, there are two sum functions, one with code 9 and another with code 109. We have already seen the sum function with code 9. Now let us see how this function is different from the other. Let us first use this function on the same range. We will just copy paste our formula and change the code from 9 to 109. And our result is same. Now let us remove the filter from our range. We can see that the result of both the sum with code 9 and code 109 are still same. Now let us hide a few rows from the range. And now we can see there is mismatch in the result. What happens here is that the sum function with code 9 includes the hidden rows whereas the function with code 109 excludes them when calculating the sum. Now before we conclude the video, let us sum up what we saw right now in nutshell. Regular sum function calculates the sum from the given range of cells irrespective of whether the range has hidden cells or the range is filtered. But the sum functions in subtotal calculates the sum from the given range of cells and both changes dynamically when the range is filtered. But when the range is not filtered, both these functions behave differently if the range has few hidden rows. The sum function with code 9 includes the hidden rows in calculation but the function with code 109 excludes them. In case if you have any query on this, do write it in the comment box below and I will try to answer them. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.